My name is Janet Horvath, and I'd like to invite you to read my book, The Cello Still Sings, a sweeping and true history of three generations darkened by the long shadow of the Holocaust. As a child, I knew not to ask questions. In order to start life anew, my parents buried who and what they were before, silencing the past in order to live. My earliest memories are of lying on the floor next to my father as he practiced the cello, the metronome marking the music's pulse. Music was our lifeline. Despite more than three decades of cello playing, I never crossed paths with Leonard Bernstein, the legendary maestro and pianist, bad boy and superstar who composed West Side Story. But my father, a wonderful cellist in his day, he performed under the batons of all the greatest conductors, and he loved to talk shop. So one day, I asked my father, Papa, did you ever play with Leonard Bernstein? For a moment, his eyes receded. Then he said, Yes, it was very hot day. He came after war to conduct Jewish orchestra in displaced persons camps, and he played Gershwin Rhapsody in Blue. He was just kid and was just fantastic. My father had disclosed a deeply hidden secret from his past. That night, my fingers pummeled the computer keyboard as I tried to find more information. At last, I stumbled upon a clue. There'd been a program which was housed in a New York museum and they had photographs too. Later, I learned that my father was liberated from slave labor at the copper mines of Bor, Yugoslavia. After he was reunited with my mother, my parents made the arduous trek from Budapest to Germany. There, Papa joined an orchestra of 17 musicians, all Holocaust survivors, who were on a mission to bring morale-boosting programs to those languishing in the DP camps. From 1946 to 48, my father played concerts all over Bavaria while he and my mother waited for their precious papers to leave Europe. Like so many others, they were stateless. The discovery of the photos and program galvanized my father to finally tell me his experiences. What a tale. Join me on my journey of disentangling the past and of personal discovery while I weave my parents' life into my own, the lingering scars healed by the power of music.